Have you ever heard of Safiha? I haven't either, but I do know that they look so delicious. So join me and my guests, Grace and Fratella, today on Cooking Made Easy with June as we make these Lebanese meat pies. That's coming up next on Spanish Fork 17's super fun cooking show brought to you by Macy's, the happy shopping store in Spanish Fork. Welcome to Cooking Made Easy with June. I am so excited. My guest today is Grayson Fatella. I'm like, I, how many? It's Nutella and Fatella, right? Yeah, yeah. So Nutella you're a with an F, so right? So you're a Fatella. A yeah. fata fella. <laughs> exactly. I'm just kidding. Grayson, I'm so excited. Um, we, uh, so when we met at church, um, he was like so excited about cooking and started telling me, and you, you do this, and I was so excited to have you on because my dad was in the military, grew up in the military, but we travel mostly the, the Asian countries. We never got to go to Greece or anything. He had an opportunity, but he chose to go to Okinawa, Japan instead. So we're like so Asian. And so these Lebanese meat pies look so great. And you've been practicing. Tell me about your background, about the meat pies, and let's then we can get started. Yeah, for sure. Just um, I'm like one quarter Middle Eastern on my father's side, but one quarter. Oh, one quarter okay, yeah. Take it, take it. The great grandparents <laughs> came over. It was cool. We've done some family history. Awesome. Um, but growing up, like what we'd always eat as a family was Middle Eastern food, and okay. um, this right here, Safiha, is one thing. I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to make. It was definitely something from my background that right, I ate growing right. up, and I like Safiha a lot because it kind of introduces you into some some new flavors. You know, cinnamon yeah. allspice, the pine, that's the tahini, but it's super Ooh. approachable. There's no super aggressive flavors in there, so it's good to share with others because. Yeah, it's easy to no. appreciate. I've never tasted it, but when I looked up a little bit because I wasn't familiar, they were like so popular. Like a tourist, so just I'm so really, really, really excited. And I use that a lot, but I really am excited. So um, let's start the dough, right? So you go yeah. ahead and lead us and, and go for it. Awesome, yeah. So for the dough, the first thing you're going to do is two packages of dry yeast, which is roughly oh, yes. two teaspoons. Yep. Ta teaspoon or tablespoon? I think two teaspoons, or four teaspoons. So that's about a tablespoon. Yeah, sure. About a tablespoon. For, for two? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do you, so oh, one, you go ahead. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll just do it the way I did it like yesterday, just because. You do you know, like just, how you always do it, because okay. I'm not, I don't know anything about this at all. I definitely don't okay. know about measurements, but yeah, I know okay. I did four teaspoons the other day and it was okay. perfect. So for one batch? Yes, okay, for okay, one batch. Okay, we're doing one batch. Okay, so there's, so you put the yeast in first and then you're going to need three cups of water. So go ahead yeah. and do that and, and lead us into the next cool. thing and I'll start the warm the water. The next thing, we're just going to need one tablespoon of salt, okay. which is this guy. Uh, no, that, right, it says salt right there. I love these little containers. I do so, say that every time I make Oh, show. perfect. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. Go ahead and start yeah, that. Nice. I'm going to warm up the water. Cool. Then one tablespoon of salt. It's definitely a salty dough, but that's kind of how it's supposed to be. It's like a really savory dish. Ah. So put that in there. Yeah, this is so different from Thai food. Um, Now, you said you... Now, which ones, who's Lebanese, your dad? I guess your last name is, yeah, I'm not Lebanese, but Syrian, right? You so say? I think I'm Syrian and Lebanese. It's kind of a lot of mixture somewhere back in We're the line, you know? We're all related, really. For sure. Is this the sugar? Yes, that's the sugar. Perfect, so it's gonna be one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. So how warm, is that pretty warm? Oh, that's is perfect. that good? Okay, awesome, go ahead. Just enough to activate the yeast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, here we go. One teaspoon. Okay. This guy right sure. here. And then the water. Just throw all that in there. Okay. And then. So is your, your mom, does she have any Middle Eastern in her at all? None, but she learned. Whisk? Um, no. yeah, I'll probably throw okay. in the vegetable oil really quickly. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, but um, oh. she has none, but she learned a lot from my grandma and my great grandma. Oh. So that's so kind that's, of what she got. That's it. why she made it a lot, a lot of food because your dad, well, this is a bad risk here. <laughs> oh yeah, she and my dad, he goes crazy. Whenever she makes these, he's like, oh, it's just like my grandma's cooking. He loves Aww, it. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, so you just give this quick whisk, just make sure it's bubbling, that the yeast is activated and whatnot. Okay. So, um, yeah, cool. I see that. It's gonna let it soak a little bit. Yeah. So how much flour? Four and, uh, and a half cups. Okay. And I'm sure that depends on like where you're at, like dryness, humidity, whatever. Okay, so but go, you measure how you measure. Cool. Everybody measures flour differently. And yeah. I'll let, since you've been doing this. I usually compact it, but. Oh, oh okay. Well, I've never heard that before, compacting flour, but that's okay. <laughs> it's working out for you. Hey, it worked last time. <laughs> Some people so. take a knife and scrape it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just kind of like press it down a little. I don't, okay. I definitely don't measure. Wait, was that two? This is three, right? This is three. Okay, perfect. I did not keep count. Um, 
but he brought one over to get to risen. So yeah, we have one rising now, so it, it'll all be okay. We so promise. it's four cups. And then the half a cup. Too. Oh, the half cup. Okay, go for it. Get some of the oil out. That's fine. It'll work. Perfect. So um, typically, what you okay? I'll go ahead and finish. What yeah. are you doing now? I'm just gonna mix all this together. Okay, awesome. And then you're just going to want to put it in a warm place for about 45 minutes to an hour. It can okay. be longer, and that's totally fine. Okay. But minimum 45 minutes and just letting it rise. It's going to be a really that's wet it. dough. That's it. Yeah, really short. Yeah, look at that. Almost like a biscuit, but a risen, yeah, wet dough. Yeah, because even when you cook it, it doesn't rise a ton. It's like a flat disc, oh, kind of. Oh, fat flatbread. Yeah. It's like a flat. It's like a leaven flatbread. I don't yeah. know if that's an oxymoron, but something like that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so <laughs> that's the dough. I'm a school teacher, and honestly, I keep thinking, every time somebody says oxymoron, I'm like, okay, how does that work? But it's okay, we won't go into that. Perfect. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna put a cover, do I need to cover this? Um, yeah, you can cover it, you probably yeah, should. Okay. And I just put it in a warm place, I'll usually put it on top of the oven, or just okay. wherever, honestly. Okay. All right, so let's go, what's cool. next? And then step number two, you're gonna work on the filling that we're gonna put on top of the, okay. the discs of dough. Okay. So we're gonna need one onion, and we're okay. gonna need it just diced nice and fine. Okay, and what else? Uh, just oh, yep. do you want to do it? I'm um, sure. Yeah, I'll do okay, it. Okay, you do it. I want to. Yeah, you get a chance to be on TV and show us your cooking skills. Are you professionally trained? No, not at all. <laughs> so no judgment, please. Yeah, I'm not great. At, <laughs> I do love cutting onions. Though. I think it's the most like relaxing thing. What? <laughs> it's just like so calm, you know. And when you so cut calm, it, it makes me cry. Oh, you know what? what? You know what I discovered? Interesting fact: <laughs> if you have contacts, you don't cry when you cut onions. There are so many things in like my different guests on the show. They have these different things about onions, and that's mm. the first time I've heard about contacts. No, it's you true. Have contacts? True. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why you never cry. Yeah. So I'll let you cut the onions because Perfect. it always makes me cry because I'm so sensitive. And then one guest told me to put bread, white bread, in my nose, oh. and it works. But then you have to have <laughs> white bread in your nose all the time. I don't know. <laughs> Was it my nose or my mouth? I don't remember. That's funny. <laughs> Perfect. And then while I'm this, you can um, start okay, melting the... Okay, do you want this? Uh, do you want that skin? You nah, you off? don't, do you? Come on, Grayson. <laughs> Since I'm on TV, I'm nervous. I'm doing all crazy stuff. Okay, now. I'm going to start melting the butter. Yeah, three tablespoons. It's okay, kind of a awesome. lot. You can do more if you no, want no, to, no, too, no. but... Oh, you you could do more than just three tablespoons? Yeah, I usually stick with three, but oh. honestly, the more butter, the more butter it oh, is. Oh, I'm going to put the whole stick, which is four tablespoons, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait. Is that... Yeah. I think... The whole stick is four tablespoons. Yes. Well, why not? Yeah. I got little pieces of butter left over. Oh, I'm so nervous cutting the onion right now. I want it to work so bad. <laughs> I can finish it for you if no, you're nervous. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> I, actually, I actually love cutting onions because, like, this is so satisfying right here. You have, like, the nice little grid and it just all comes down. Look at you. Very. That is much neater than me. Honestly, I just go and then, and that's it. It's so, I'm just, like, I'm an impatient cook. But it always tastes good because we're just going to saute it anyways. Yeah. But look at you, so precise. And you're into, your, what is your major again? In, information, in, information systems. Information systems. Yeah. So that's in a lot of math? Actually, not no? a lot of math, a lot of programming though. Oh. Which like sound like they should be the same thing, but weirdly enough, are not. So you're into details? Yeah, yeah definitely like, I like when things make sense and there's like a good method to do it, you know? Like so there you here, go. Like this kitchen, everything's clean, everything's in the right spot, made me so happy. <laughs> Just a good system. I think there's cooking in your blood. <laughs> That's why you love it. Oh yeah, for sure. So when did you start cooking for yourself? Oh, I'm gonna start um, this. I always kind of helped my mom cooking growing up. Like, yeah. I was definitely like the son. Her, me and my older oldest brother. But then when I just went on my mission in Brazil for two years for my church, and then uh -huh. also like just living alone in oh. college. I don't know. I don't like. I, I like to eat good food that like yeah. feels healthy. Yeah. Well, and especially if your mom has been cooking well, and that you you need to right. She set the bar way too high. Like now I can't like, you know, I have I, to cook I myself now. I am picky too. So um, let's go ahead, let's, is that? Yeah, it's probably good. Okay. It's totally fine. So we'll talk more about all the other stuff, yeah. So what do you want to do? You want to put it in? Um, yeah, let's okay, throw the let's onions in. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in. I'll just, we have to get going here. Oh, so sure. onions and what else? Onions and then we just kind of are going to let the onions saute and get soft. And once they're soft, then we're going to throw the pine nuts in. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. So I think, should I turn it up higher? Um, yeah, you can turn it on nice and hot. Okay, tell about the pine nuts. I, um, I didn't, Pine nuts. sorry, I, I'm thinking Macy's not happy because I didn't get a chance to look for it. And so I said, oh, I don't, couldn't find the pine nuts, but I'm sure they're there. Yeah. And so, I, and you know what? This is cool. Is it roasted or what kind of, just any kind? So these are just raw. Okay, raw pine nuts. Yeah, they're kind of expensive, but like once you get a, they are expensive actually, but they'll last a long time. Like I definitely don't buy them as a college student. My so, mom sent them to me on Amazon, so yeah. <laughs> 
So how much pine nuts do we need? Just um, a half cup? Okay. It says, yeah, two, it says two handfuls, like a half cup, just however okay. much it feels okay. good, you know? So I think what we're going to do, Grace, I think we're going to take a little break. Awesome. Um, and then we'll kind of cook this out. When we come back, we'll finish up the filling. Perfect. And then we'll um, we'll go from there. Okay, so, so you guys got to come back. We're just getting started, and we're going to get into the meat next. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, so Grayson, is this about the time to put the pine nuts in? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So you're just gonna add so, roughly go two handfuls. Okay. Pine nuts are already really delicious on their own. Yeah. Kind of hard to find, kind of expensive, yeah. but toasted, <laughs> they really improve a dish. I also wonder if there, this is, so that's about a half cup, it looks like yeah, you put in. Yeah, about a half cup. A third to a half cup. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so while I stir this, you explain the tahini with, uh, for us. Yeah, for sure. This. So we need to cook this until it's toasted, right? Yeah, until they're just a little bit brown. Definitely okay. watch out because they can brown pretty quick. And then okay, you throw the meat awesome. in to take the temperature down in the in the pan, right? Okay, you, you need to kind of do that and kind of watch this for Yeah, me, for I sure. Know. Sounds good. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so tahini is like sesame peanut butter kind of. It's like toasted sesame seeds that are pressed into butter. I have never tasted that before. Yeah, Can it's I I'm gonna stick my finger and just go for it. No, no, I'm just gonna go like this. I just wanna taste. Yeah. It's got like like the oil, sesame oil. Mm. Kind of interesting, ooh. right? It's at first it's like ooh yum, but then it's like kind of bitter. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely like a flavor so, there. It's definitely yeah. not like a. I and wouldn't put it on a sandwich. Yeah, that, no, not peanut butter jelly, but that's yeah. that's interesting. It's yeah. a cross between hummus and... Okay, so what are you doing right so now? So right now I'm just taking out about two large spoonfuls, kind of a medium-sized spoon, so I'm going to do about okay. three. Okay. This is already kind of thinned out, I think uh -huh. just by like mm -hmm. whoever like oh, made this yeah, canister of it. Right, it looks really natural, so that's yeah. about... Oh, so you don't need to really... Th usually it comes thicker or what? Yeah, usually it's a, it can be a little bit thicker than this. This is already thinned out a little, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But um, if it is a little bit too thick, and like this can be thinned out a little bit. I'm trying to find out how much tahini that is. Oh, about a half tablespoon each. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, okay, but that's a lot, but it's okay. I'd say about two tablespoons worth. Okay, two tablespoons. Oh, uh, and then, is this, which way is hot? Here? Yeah, that way is hot. Okay, you so want you like can... some very hot water. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and at that point, once it's real hot, you're just gonna go ahead and put like a little bit at a time and just go ahead and mix it in so it gets a little bit thinner. Okay, good. come show us what, oh, yeah. like, what it looks right like. Oh yeah, right there. So right there, yeah. like you see, we put a little bit of water in and you just mix it. And you're just trying to thin it out a little bit so it can coat oh, the meat a little bit more evenly. Okay, so is that, do you need thinner or that, that's what you want? That's probably fine. I might add actually a little bit more and yeah, get it just ahead. a little thinner. Okay, Grayson, I hate to rush you, but look at this. this is, is it ready for to add meat? Uh, it's close. Oh, okay. Say so like another maybe minute. Okay. okay Usually awesome. the, this, the pine nuts will get a little bit browned. Okay. Like it's slightly more than that, and then you're kind of in business. Wow, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. This looks so awesome. I, you know, just because I'm not familiar with doing this. Yeah. When I do... A little bit cooking. more even. Yeah, that looks really thick. Yeah. I think what happened is like, there's always like a layer of liquid on the top of the tahini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go ahead, let's go ahead yeah. and stir that. Add, um, Just add a little bit at a time. So once once this is to where you think it's brown enough, we're gonna throw in the meat, yeah? Yes, for sure. So tell me when. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> looks good though. It's gonna be so tasty. Um, yeah, tahini though, definitely different. <laughs> Just a oh, little more. So we're all good. we're so close. There we go. Grayson, hurry up! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's probably good. You can throw the meat in. Are you sure or are you just saying that because I'm trying to rush you? No, I think it's good. <laughs> oh, I spilled some. That's okay. I'm a messy cook, but you're probably just Okay, so this is about two pounds. You can use, tell us about the pound, uh, the beef or the leg. Yeah, just between two and three pounds, okay. depending on how much filling okay. you're gonna end up making. So just put it in like that? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know the consistency on the tahini is kind of hard to get down. I remember when I looked at my aunt's recipe, it just said, until it's a good texture. Oh. Not really sure what that means, but I'm calling this a good texture now. Okay, so oh, that looks lovely. Right about there. Okay, so a really creamy yeah. texture. Okay, what do we do next? So we're gonna actually want to cook the meat a little bit. We okay. wanna get like nice and brown, and then once it's browned, do uh, we want to add spices now or after it's brown? When it's like getting close to getting done, that's when you kind of throw the oh, spices on. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm I'm weird. I'm left-handed. And you notice that? Oh, so I'm, I I, I'm noticing this. now. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you do this. <laughs> well, no, that's sure. Why not? I would so love you to. So you with the brown. I'll start measuring out the spices. Yes. And maybe I'll just put it in here, and then we can throw it in because I want you um, to start showing us how to do that dough. Oh the yeah, pie. For sure. So let's see, a tablespoon of allspice. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's a cinnamon. A half tablespoon of cinnamon salt and 
Where's my cinnamon? Yeah, honestly, I feel like most of the dishes I grew up eating, oh, this is cinnamon. it's always like two parts allspice to one part, cin part cinnamon. So this is about, is that okay we approximate or do you want exact? No, you can totally approximate, okay, that's totally so fine. Got cinnamon and then salt. You can always add more salt, that's about half. Mm -hmm. And then um, you want a tablespoon of allspice. Wow. Oh yeah. This is certainly, I have to remember, it's certainly not Thai spices. It's, yeah. I love it. It's well, one so thing that was great. interesting growing up too is like, I think we didn't really make cinnamon rolls and stuff that much. So I always associated cinnamon more with like savory dishes more than oh, like desserts. That is interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. because here we always think cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon sweetness, always. Churros. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. It's looking so have good. You, talk about churros. Disneyland, have you been, they have these, um, uh, I forgot what they're called, some kind of churros. Oh, churro toffee. Have you ever had that? Do you I've, like Disneyland? Do you ever go to Disneyland? I've been once or oh, twice. It was awesome. We're such a Disney fan family, but we love the food and we always go for this um, churro toffee. Ooh. So good. Anyway, I'm changing subject. Yeah, okay, sure. tell me. <laughs> okay, so it's starting to get nice and cooked. You can see that like they're starting to add color okay. and stuff. Um, we can add the spices now. That's totally okay. fine. So let's go ahead and add that. Yep. And okay. then we'll also add the tahini. Ah, okay. And then usually I'll just like do my first round of adding, give it a taste and see if it's how I want it. And then if it's, wow, so that is really a major ingredient then because if you're yeah. tasting, I bet it'll be good just like that though. For sure. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like I feel like this is a really complete dish in the sense of like the lemon juice adds some acidity and there's like the nuttiness yeah. of this and the spices. Yeah, so there's I'm a lot of different flavors so going on. Cool. So when do we add the lemon juice? Um, we can add it now even oh, if you want okay, to. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same one and then shake it. Of course, fresh would be good, but we don't want to squeeze a third cup. Oh yeah. That's quite a bit I do lemon. like though when you like get all the lemon juice on your hands when you're catching the seas and you smell so good for so long. You are a chef in the making. Were well, you already a chef? I think cook I is the highest you could give me. I think chef is too high, but yeah, <laughs> I definitely like to cook. Oh, I'm not professionally trained either, so hey. Oh yeah. But I'm a lot older than you, so I can. Okay, so that's about a third cup. Yes, that's perfect. Go ahead and throw that in there. Awesome. And that adds a okay. really nice freshness because it's already got a lot of savoriness okay. in it. Okay, so I'm going to have you go ahead and start on this dough. For sure. Because I'm going to get the cookie sheet and just at least this one. I'm going to grab the cookie sheet. I'm going to take over the meat for you. Sounds perfect. And uh, oh, salt too. Oh, I already added salt in it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Into the into the meat. Into I put it in the thing. Oh, really? That's yeah, smart. I, put it all I like together. that. Okay, not as smart as the information system major. So, okay, now you said to spray, but um, it's a parchment paper, okay? Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna switch places. You Perfect. go ahead and start on, yeah. here's some more flour. And this is getting there, so you can even turn this down. Where's the, right here. Yeah, this like, you want this to get mostly cooked through, but you're also gonna throw oh. it in the oven oh, on top of the dough, so it doesn't even necessarily have to be all the way. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So let's make a pie. Okay. Cool. Do you have um like a spoon? Yes. What, what do you mean like a? Oh, just like a normal spoon. This is fine too. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll usually take like, you just kind of get used to it. You want, do you want flour here or what? No, because it actually just goes straight on there, so the oh, dough just stays wet. awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do it. Yeah, it's not super see how you do that without flouring your hand. Yeah. So no, it's definitely sticky. It's definitely a messy operation if we're being honest, but it is what it is. Okay, so you just throw the dough down. You form it to like roughly a circle. And then the size can vary. I usually go like right about, I'd say two inches is the, uh -huh. this diameter okay, right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then um, you just grab some of the meat. Oh, that's it? Yeah, it's literally oh, you don't. so simple. Oh gosh, okay, well then, okay, go ahead. Kay. You want a bigger spoon, and, okay. Yeah, Look so. Look at this, it's, it's, it's mostly done. Yeah, perfect. And now you you asked for 95% beef, but I, I only, I got 85%. That's totally fine. So it's a little bit more, but save, you know, fatty, but it's gonna be a lot of flavor. It's gonna be delicious. So do you want this one? Do you want another spoon? This spoon's fine. Okay, so let me see how much so you put on there. You just get like, kind of as much as you can put. It, it can have less or more, just depending. That's kind of a little too much, if I'm being honest. Okay, okay, let me get a little small spoon. Yeah, honestly, the way, the way you're gonna know it's good is you kind of press it into the middle, so the outside kind of stretches outwards, and you're gonna just have like a little ridge on the sides, right? Okay. So it's gonna be like the circle of dough, Okay. And then on the inside, you have this little circle of meat. Oh, awesome. Okay, so do another one. Let's do another yeah, one. Let's do one more. And we'll keep going. Um, 
Let's make it another one just so we can see. Yeah. And then. It's definitely so messy. So I, I want to say that's about a third, well, a quarter cup. Yeah, I'd say about a quarter cup. Okay. Or, awesome. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then you, maybe a tablespoon. Um. Like yeah, about a tablespoon. That's so good. So I'm just gonna throw that down in there. That's perfect. Really? It's not too much. No. Yeah, it's I'm good. It and you just kind of press it down right in the middle. Okay. So are they going to stick together or is that too close together? Or are we okay? They expand a little bit, but I think those oh. will be fine. Okay. So they do expand, but I don't, I think that'll be okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and keep going. Yeah, um, sure. We're, we're going to take a little break. We're going to, while we're breaking, we'll finish it off. Then we're going to put it in the oven for? Uh, 10 to 12 minutes, but watch it closely. And temperature of the oven? 450 degrees. Okay. So come back. Welcome back. Okay, Grayson, the timer just went off, so Grayson's gonna take out a pan and put it here. And let's look at how uh, brown or whatever you want it. I'm so excited, they look so good. For sure. Ah, beautiful. So hey. these, these ones popped up a little bit. If yours don't pop up as much, that's totally fine. They can be flatter, uh, but yeah. Do, do we just, a spatula or what? What's, what's, what should we do should with it? should just come off, yeah. Can we go ahead and plate it on there? So oh, we made sure. a quick salad with lemon and olive oil. Mm -hmm. And so, shall we just put it here and then line, put, and then put the. Oh, put those on the side. Yeah, that, that'd be so think? pretty. Yeah, that should, sounds great. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't want to. One half on, like, with like the, the nice yeah. colorful salad and the other half yeah. with like the sofihas. Yeah. Let's do that. Delicious. And then, yeah. Yeah, this can be like a party food. You can totally serve it on a platter okay. and just kind of have it going around, or it can be part of like a dish yeah. on a meal I'm too. I'm gonna pull up another pan out and then put it on there, and then we can eat. For sure. Um, yeah, this salad's super simple. It's just tomatoes, onions, cucumbers, olive oil, and salt. We call them what Jerusalem do you think? salads. I don't know if it's the real. Should we put a couple more on this? Up yeah, there? for sure. Oh, what do you think? Oh, one more there. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Ah! So okay. oh, that's, so, that's so pretty. I'm so it's happy beautiful. with that. Yeah, no, you did a great job. Look at that. Okay, let's eat. For sure. So I'm going to, okay, I'll grab one of these. Mm -hmm. They're and very hot. I'm going to put a little salad on my my tray just because I want to go buy it. So you want some salad? Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, let's, let's we're ready to feels. taste it. Okay, so it's lightly brown. Mm-hmm. Mmm, oh my. Tasty, wow. right? I know. I, oh, you think I'm exaggerating. <laughs> Sometimes I do exaggerate, but this is really yummy. I've never had these before. And I had looked it up and I heard that they were really popular mm -hmm. in um, Lebanese or well, in Syria. And, and they serve it often and the tourists go, like this is like a street food, right? Yeah. For sure. And so I've seen it different shapes, and of course you can do different shapes, but I love it that you, because you kept it sticky, so you see, I don't know if you guys can see how it's so fluffy. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeast base, but it didn't take that much to rise. Oh, Grayson, this is so good. Tasty, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I've got to thank my mm. mom and, you know, great-grandma for the recipe. Mom, <laughs> grandma, what, great-grandma? Great-grandma, Edna Fatella, came okay. over in 1914. No way! Mm -hmm. Fun fact. So you're, it's your dad's side? Yes. Very nice. So she sent the recipe has been passed on. I love, this is my main thing. It's like my family recipes. Oh, we have leftovers. We have leftover meat. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so we have leftover meat after all these pies. And of course you could load it up, right? Or yeah. I wasn't sure how much we need. Um, Generally what we would do in my family when we have the extra, we'll just make it, we call it rice peel off. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just rice with, mm -hmm. you use um, chicken bouillon instead of salt. Mm -hmm. And then you also brown a couple of vermicelli spaghettis mm -hmm. before you throw it in there with like plenty of butter. With the rice and vermicelli together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, you just make that with the, with the chicken bouillon and you can just serve the meat mixture on top of it too. And that's totally fine. Oh, so you, can, you don't have to waste anything. Yeah, but I sure. keep eating. <laughs> Okay, Grayson, let's do a shout out. Mm. You. Hello. <laughs> your family? Mm hmm. Shout out to your family, your friends, whatever. Cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, definitely Jamie Fatella, my mom. She taught me Aww. everything I know about cooking. Oh, sweet. And then the rest <laughs> of my family, too, is awesome. Miles, Jack, Forrest, David, their girlfriends, AJ, Chelsea, <laughs> and Danny. Wait, wait, wait. Who All else? boys? Um, All boys? You don't have any sisters? Yeah, three older brothers. Yeah, that's you. That's four boys in your family. Yes. No girls. Zero. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, if I had a sister, she probably would have learned how to cook and I wouldn't have. So, you know, it just went well. Um, okay. Yeah. I know there's so many people to shout out. I think I'll stick with Go my ahead. family just because, like, <laughs> then you don't want to forget someone. You know what I mean? 
So yeah, mm. thanks guys. Grayson, this is so yummy. I'm not exactly you guys. That was easy. Easy, right? That wasn't hard. No, not by once, no means. Once you've seen you make it, mm -hmm. and I will have to make this a staple, it'd be a great party food. Right, and good food is just like, it's just yeah. simple and like, it's different, you mm -hmm. know, but I think I like it because yeah. I think different but approachable. Yeah. Like, no. it has some new flavors, but, and yeah. Cinnamon. Well, good job. Thank you so much for coming. No problem. Thank you. You did awesome. And um, maybe we'll have to do it another time. Oh, yeah. And, uh, we can make some grape leaves, tabbouleh, oh, oh. button okay. gin, lots of, okay. lots of fun stuff. I'm hoping you're still around at least another whatever. Mm -hmm. You said about another year of school or what? Yeah, I do. I have one more year. Are you going somewhere? This summer? Yeah, this summer I'm going back home. <laughs> Headed home pretty soon to, oh, to Arizona. Yeah. But then awesome. I'll be back up here, so oh, yeah. I would love to be back. Okay. I love to learn some Thai food too. Oh, okay. We'll do that. And um, so, you guys, come back again. Um, another wonderful episode of Cooking Made Easy with June. Go to Macy's. Happy shopping, happy budget, happy everything because we're just a happy society. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going on. <laughs> Till next time, happy cooking. <laughs>